Honorable Director, Board of Examinations and Evaluation, Shri Mahesh Kakre sir, Respected Dean, Faculty of Science and Technology, Dr. Manohar Chaskar sir, Principals of various engineering colleges who have joined the event, participating college exam officers, faculty members, and my dear colleagues. On behalf of International Institute of Information Technology, I take this opportunity to welcome you all for the today's webinar on assessment of pre-final year students of engineering. In the current situation of pandemic due to COVID-19, as we all know, the universities are compelled to abandon the pre-final year examinations. Accordingly, Savitri Bhai Phule, Pune University has issued numerous circulars giving directions to the institutes in line with the government regulations. However, since this is an unprecedented experience we all are going through, at these circumstances, the institutes are in a state of confusion. The faculty members who would be implementing the instructions and recommendations from the university need to have common interpretations of the communications received. With this background, when a thought was given as to how to resolve this issue, we thought of getting the answer for this vital issue and seek clarification from the rightiest person. So we approached the Director, Board of Examinations and Evaluation of Savitri Bhai Phule Pune University, who promptly accepted our request. We are extremely grateful to you, sir, for consenting Thank to you. address this topic and finding time from your very busy schedule to address the participants who are eager to listen from you. Once again, on behalf of I2Square IT Pune, I extend a warm welcome to the speaker of the day and all participants for the online session on assessment of pre-final year students of engineering. Thank you. Um, and now, it, yeah, and now it is my honor to uh, introduce to you um, Mr. Mahesh Kakade, who is a director, like ma'am said, Board of Examination and Evaluation (SPPE). Um, sir has uh, actually a civil engineer, and uh, he has completed his civil engineering uh, from Walchand Nagar Sangli, and eventually he went with first class distinction, and eventually completed his ME, his PG diploma in IT, a semester program on earthquake engineering from IIT Roorkee, and eventually a PhD from SPPU. He has a number of research uh, publications to his credit, and Mr. Kakde has one year industrial experience and almost 24 years in academics. Um, he has a number of achievements, and I would like to take a few moments to actually recognize his achievements. Uh, he's been a member of the task group established for internal revenue generation through consultancy, material testing, and services by the DTE Mumbai. He has established government polytechnic in Miraj and 21 other polytechnics in the private sector right from 1996 to 2010. He has had the honor of working as a, a, a working as a project officer for the government of India sponsored persons with disability schemes for over five years. He has received best polytechnic for implementing the scheme in Western India. Um, he has been the chairman of the Indian Society of Technical Education, Maharashtra Goa section and an executive council member. He has won um, an award, like the best teacher award for Maharashtra State Polytechnic, AICT, IST Best Administrator Award in 2019, and MHRD New Delhi Best Project Officer, PWD, Western Region in 2010. So there is a lot more that we could speak, but sir, formally, thank you for joining us. And now it's over to you, sir. Thank you very much. Indeed, uh, it is a great pleasure to me to be associated with the people who are very actively involved in the examination system of uh, Savitri Bhai Phule for uh, University Pune. Uh, uh, I must thank uh, Honorable uh, Dr. Patil, ma'am, for inviting me and uh, sharing my views and thoughts about uh, this uh, examination, which has been uh, the outcome of uh, uh, incidentally the pandemic and uh, the situation arose uh, not only in our country but uh, around the world and 
uh, of course the the audience uh, who are today with us uh, they are uh, the professors the head of departments the teachers the college level examination officers the directors and uh, all they are uh, uh, very cautious and they are very eager to listen to me uh, to get clarified the doubts regarding how this examination would be processing uh, would be progressing uh, my dear friends uh, i welcome you on this uh, webinar and uh, i express my sincere thanks on behalf of examination department to i square it for organizing such a wonderful uh, uh, interaction i was told that uh, almost 800 plus uh, participants uh, are uh, have registered and they are joining this particular uh, discussion uh, moreover you must have uh, of course you have heard lot of things uh, and uh, you have uh, got a little bit idea uh, you must have uh, indulged and engaged yourselves in uh, filling up the marks and uh, which we call it as uh, the internal marks and all that and uh, perhaps you might have done the in semester examination assessment and uh, before the lockdown uh, those uh, activities must have been completed uh, but the remaining part uh, perhaps i think so would be the filling up of marks of in sem examination after cap and all that so dear friend uh, before i uh, come to the uh, engineering stream or this particular uh, program especially under the science and technology uh, faculty let me let me clear few things about it uh, you know that uh, on 13th of march uh, what was happened and uh, we are facing and we are passing through that particular situation uh, eventually uh, the government has taken the decision that from 17th onwards uh, they were um, forced to shut down all activities uh, all around pune mumbai nagpur and other cities major cities so from 17th onwards uh, we the actual lockdown started uh, the epidemic act 18 1971 and the disaster management act 2015 uh, was uh, in uh, come into the force and uh, the people started um, following those particular uh, rules and regulations and we could not be able to move out of our uh, house or homes so therefore there was no question of uh, entering into the institution and doing the business uh, dear friends uh, after that you must have heard that uh, the government of maharashtra constituted a committee comprising uh, four vice chancellors two directors uh, under vice chancellor uh, professor nitin karmalkar sir was one of the member of that elite group and they formulated uh, certain guidelines how such a things uh, especially the examination can uh, prevail and how we can uh, tackle this particular situation before that or prior to that on 24th of april uh, 2020 the university grants commission has issued the guidelines actually we all were discussing prior to that uh, this is not the situation related to maharashtra only it is a national situation and it is um, uh, all together a very green situation and therefore uh, the ugc undertook this uh, exercise and they they uh, published certain guidelines to all the states and they uh, they asked the governments and uh, the universities to go through it and whatever uh, guidelines which are not in tune with uh, uh, the state their own policies their own acts the um, uh, corona covid 19 situation in their states and they requested the, the the universities and the state governments uh, accordingly modify the things and uh, try to implement it so the government committee under the chairmanship of dr pednekar vice chancellor of mumbai university has uh, thought over we have given lot of inputs and uh, they have submitted the report to the government of maharashtra on 6th of may and uh, subsequently on 8th of may they issued the guidelines so let me elaborate that uh, in uh, with uh, uh, your permission because all of you are known to that but let it is my duty to uh, to explain the things because most of you perhaps may not be knowing about it so on uh, 8th of may uh, what we did is we uh, thoroughly studied the guidelines because actually we were the active part of uh, making that particular uh, guidelines but still we studied uh, that particular part and then we decided that as per their guidelines only final year examinations uh, would be conducted if the time permits and if the situation permits to us uh, then 
broad in broader sense uh, uh, they have uh, asked us to uh, uh, get the results of uh, pre final year students year students or semester students whatever the situation may be in some in some programs we have yearly pattern so without appearing the examinations based on their past performance uh, we were asked to uh, judge their performance and issue them the grade sheets mark sheets and etc uh, prior to that uh, we had a uh, detailed discussions we had a detailed study we had uh, the great inputs from uh, the class of intellectual who are associated with the university at the same time uh, we had the discussions with uh, through uh, deans of various faculty uh, discussions with the board of studies and their chairmen and uh, we had a road map ready for us uh, but what happened at and of course you know that um, uh, honorable vice chancellor spoke to um, so many group of persons and people and uh, he elaborated how the pune university would be going uh, if the this kind of situation is um, uh, not allowing to conduct the examinations in conventional form so he uh, explained and he talked to all uh, faculty members directors college principals of three districts i was also associated with them actually we didn't have this kind of uh, the seriousness and uh, uh, incidentally it changed everything so what happened is that uh, people were knowing about that the, there would not be any examinations in the conventional form and only certain remedial measures alternatives would have been uh, uh, thought of and uh, they would have been presented before the uh, certain uh, class of intellectual people to the government to the honorable chancellor and all other um, uh, all other uh, organizations group of persons and stakeholders related to it uh, on 8th of may they submitted the report and we got the report and what was told in that you follow these guidelines where uh, there will be only examination for final year students and for pre final year students and semester students you should not conduct the examination because we don't allow the masses to come together and uh, which would ultimately uh, responsible for the spread of this corona 19 virus covid 19 virus so we thought on that and uh, again the government of maharashtra did one thing they did not enforce it only they said that this is the report the university is being uh, autonomous they are run by and governed by maharashtra public university act 2016 so we are giving you the guidelines you follow that and uh, accordingly you make your own plans so what we did is we followed that and the department of examination of uh, savitribai phule pune university prepared an action plan based on the suggestions the remedial measures the alternatives suggested by uh, honorable board of study chairmen honorable deans delhi personalities who were associated with the sppu and who were uh, all the time academicians of course we can say that who were all the time worried about uh, the uh, prestige and pride of this university and uh, the remedial way uh, for uh, alternatives for conduct uh, non conducting of examinations so parents uh, we prepared the action plan based on that that particular action plan was consisting of uh, broadly uh, five parts the first part was related to the actual conduction of examinations and if the examinations are to be conducted for final year then what shall be the modality uh, of course we know that uh, on 13th of march everybody uh, was halted and uh, the, the entire uh, progression uh, halted and uh, we did not able to even join our institutions on uh, 24 or from 24th march the, uh, the entire nationwide lockdown uh, was imposed and uh, as you know we are in the lockdown 5 perhaps we may proceed to another lockdown i don't know but that situation was there at that time so we did the exercise at the university and there we thought that what shall be the last date for considering the teaching learning process the evaluation for process 
the continuous internal evaluation process. So we thought that 13 March would be the appropriate date and up till that what was covered in the institutions, we tried to got the information from all stakeholders and we could able to understand that 60% of our uh, curriculum has been completed at the institution level. So keeping that particular uh, aspects in mind, uh, we issued and we prepared the action plan accordingly that we are going to consider only that particular portion. But later on, uh, the clarifications came from uh, UGC and government of Maharashtra. They again uh, requested uh, the universities and the institutions affiliated to it that from 1st of May to 30th, 31st of May, there shall be vacation and from 1st of June to 30th of June, there shall be online uh, training programs, coaching programs, whatever it may be, conduction of uh, certain classes, completion of syllabus and curriculum, completion of uh, remaining practicals and orals with different modes. So, but still uh, the thought was prevailing uh, amongst us that let us not consider that particular part, only we will consider 60% coverage of curriculum uh, as far as theory and practicals are, uh, were concerned. So therefore, uh, the first principle which took into mind that we are going to conduct the examination based on the 60% coverage of our final year syllabus. That was the first thing. Then, as you know that uh, only the final semester means ours is the fourth year program for UJ and the two year program for PG. So for final semester, that is eighth semester, we are going to conduct the examination. Uh, the thought was there that uh, even though if we conduct the examination for eighth semester, then almost 40% of our um, students, friends, they they are not uh, in a position to complete and get the degree with that. Uh, obviously, they have their backlogs from uh, sixth semester, seventh semester, fifth semester, like that. And uh, therefore, uh, that particular backlog has to be addressed and uh, uh, we thought that uh, the backlog examination should also happen, should also take place simultaneously with the uh, final end semester examination, that is even semester. Uh, again, we uh, we had in mind that no examinations would be conducted for uh, first year to third year for any program and for first year for PG program. Uh, that was decided ultimately in tune with the guidelines you should buy the government of Maharashtra and UGC. The second part which we had uh, in mind that uh, if we suppose to conduct the examination for final semester, then, then what shall be the modality? If we are supposed to conduct the examination for backlog, what shall be the modality? Of course, when issue of backlog comes, then unanimously we at the examination department along with honorable deans that backlog has been already covered the examination should have been completed or should have been uh, 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 organized and planned and scheduled on the basis of 100% syllabus because it is a backlog. Uh, provided that the time permits, the situation permits, the Corona COVID GR and the rules and regulation permits. Again, another thought come that uh, we sh should not go for the full length examination. We shall be doing it uh, with some curtailment of durations as well as curtailment of content of the question paper. So obviously the formula came out that 50 marks examination would happen and again it would not be possible for the examination department to form and to uh, schedule the examination for backlog because certain uh, is lies in the red zone area, certain are in the orange zone, certain in the green zone. Of course, in Pune uh, University jurisdiction, we don't have any green zone. Uh, so therefore, uh, let us uh, allow the institution to conduct their uh, the examination of backlog as per their own wish and will and as they find it convenient. So it was decided that the backlog examination would be done and would be conducted by the institutions. Uh, by forming there and publishing their own timetable, uh, setting their own question papers, but uh, provided that the guidelines should be issued to you by the SPPO. And uh, the examination would be for 50 marks and one and a half hour max and for uh, 
the entire hundred percent syllabus. So this was related to backlog examination, uh, but ultimately the performance of the students would be converted into the uh, um, the uh, into the examination scheme and their marking system and all that. So that is not a major issue, but the conversion would be done for the examination which is in the which would be in the curtailment form. As far as the final even semester examination uh, is concerned, then it was decided that uh, the examination would be for again not for full length, full duration examination. It would be uh, one and a half hours duration examination for 50 marks and students uh, would not be expected to join and uh, group into the mass into the great mass and great numbers uh, which which is not permitted by this 1897 act and 2005 act so therefore this kind of alternative this, uh, was suggested by the board of deans and accordingly we prepared the actions then so it was crystal clear when we prepared the action plan and when we submitted the action plan uh, uh, to the honorable uh, academic council dear friends uh, let me aware you that uh, as government of maharashtra did not enforce it so some other universities have thought of different. We have thought of different. Um, let us uh, elaborate it. The Aurangabad University said that uh, we will consider 50% marks of previous all semesters, whereas uh, the UGC and we at SPU thought that uh, we would only consider the next uh, immediate previous examination, not all the previous examinations. So we were very clear and crystal clear about uh, our own understandings, our own nation, notion and how to uh, proceed further with uh, such examinations. So the part was uh, considered like this. There shall be final year examination. There shall be uh, 50 marks examination, one and a half hours duration. There shall be backlog examinations conducted by the institution for uh, one and a half hour duration and 50 marks. The issue was related to the formulation of policies. So when I presented this action plan to the Honorable uh, Board of Deans first, then it was my humble request to all Board of Deans that we won't have a common policy for all 176 programs which are under the umbrella of uh, four faculties. So according to the faculty, we should have the clear cut distinctions. The science and technology faculty perhaps has different things in mind compared to the ideas faculty uh, law program or uh, uh, performing arts program. So therefore, I suggested that there shall be uh, two ways with which we can proceed. The first way is the general policies which would be common to all the faculties, four faculties we have and the specific policies which can be thought of uh, with the assistance and cooperation from the uh, elite personality of that particular faculty, the board of study chairman, the dean, and then uh, at finally at the examination department. So there were again a lot of complaints. Still today we are receiving that. What shall we do for this? What shall we do for that? Uh, dear friends, it is my humble request to you. At the examination, we are not expert of all 176 programs. It is the priority of uh, the deans, honorable deans, and their uh, colleagues in the faculty, uh, board of study chairman, and uh, the experts of uh, certain programs. They were supposed to submit uh, the detailed and um, elaborative guidelines to the examination department how to conduct the oral, practical, term work, projects, seminars, mini projects, and so on, dissertations, and all, so many. So actually, it was my request to them that please furnish certain details and the data about it. But anyway, uh, we could able to gather certain uh, details of it and uh, we could able to um, present it before honorable uh, uh, authorities of the university as per the University Act 2016. So the first presentation was made to the Academic Council on 23rd May as per uh, the University Act provision. Uh, the chapter 2, section 32, 32 in Marathi, it is year, nerge, all these sub sections are there. It is a right of academic council. And finally, academic council approved it. Uh, they approved in uh, differently, two different ways. They accepted and ratified the action plan suggested by the examination department. 
uh, they also ratified uh, certain changes if necessary that can be made and they also asked uh, on our requested honorable vice chancellor that if any necessary changes are required to be made then they can he is authorized to make it later on we took it uh, with different forms and we took it to the board of examination because the macro level planning and the uh, modus operandi and modu, uh, procedures for various uh, activities under uh, the assessment in a different form uh, that was supposed to be uh, under the consideration of board of examination and therefore the board of examination on 29th of may they endorsed it uh, with certain modification and alteration and they have uh, asked us to submit it uh, to the honorable uh, uh, management council and uh, it is very uh, happiest moment for me that uh, all these three authorities have uh, endorsed and approved the action plan prepared by the examination department uh, with the assistance of honorable deans and the board of study chairmen and all uh, elite persons like you who have contributed a lot in making this dear friends uh, we had very crystal clear ideas in our mind that especially for engineering what we should be doing or uh, what we should do uh, dear friends we are different basically because why did we because i am also from engineering fraternity and uh, i know that uh, we have a lot of things to do actually we had in mind that the second part of my uh, action plan was there could be four different types of cases which we have which we were supposed to address before preparing preparing this action plan and with my uh, contribution from my colleagues and uh, from your faculty engineering faculty science and technology faculty we could able to categorize uh, where we are supposed to address It was related to the final year ug programs where before lockdown the in semester examinations and evaluations could be able to complete in such a situation what we we are supposed to do is that as you have uh, aware and you know that uh, of course you know so many things you know certain controversies but we are not here to focus on that we are here to follow the guidelines issued by the government of maharashtra uh, on 8th of may so the first case was in case of uh, engineering for ug and pg programs if we we would have we have completed the in semester examination and we have completed the assessment then we have that data with us so 50% weightage shall be given to the performance of the students in their uh, in semester or uh, online examinations or internal evaluation whatever it may be and the 50% weightage uh, shall be given to the performance for the stud students uh, 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 at uh, their performance in the end semester examination which is uh, likely to be held in the month of uh, july as it was directed by the 8th may circular it was not our own uh, consideration own perception but it was the guidelines given by the government of maharashtra then we consider the case 2 that is the second case where final year ug and uh, pg i'm talking about final year where in semester examination could not be completed uh, before the, then what shall we do so 50% weightage can be given to the performance of student in the first based on the first term examination held in the november december 19 that means in the first term which they have given already that odd semester in the uh, october december 20, 2019 that particular performance we take into consideration and the 50% performance would be of the end semester examination which would be conducted in the month of july or so on so that was related to the uh, final year students case number 3 we considered that uh, pre final year programs for ug and pg for pg it is first year of pg for ug it is first year second year third year btech or be uh, again there would be two options the first option where in uh, the in semester examination could have been completed successfully then 50% weightage shall be given to that of performance of student in the first term examination held during the november uh, december 2019 and the 50% weightage shall be given to the performance of student in their end semester examination for given semester so that way we can calculate uh, it as a 100% again finally converted into the respective uh, 
head and its maximum marks for this particular even semester examination and we can able to issue the statement of marks with this particular mathematical formula dear friends uh, let me uh, elaborate before you let me uh, express before you that uh, we had worked very very hard on it my colleagues in the research department uh, the other members we have prepared a complete thorough guideline document and the modus operandi that is to be followed jala apan marathit margadarshak tatve ani karya pranali that booklet is ready uh, everything we have mentioned it we have seven chapters in it you can understand we have seven chapters in it and uh, right from the preamble to the uh, at exam at institution level when we expect that uh, moderation uh, sorry photocopy revaluation and then uh, keeping the answer books at their end uh, all this then the form for revaluation for the students who is applying to the institutions for their backlog the examinations and all that mode of remunerations then uh, the details of remunerations and all everything apart from that one or besides this the fantastic feature that uh, we have included in this particular guideline document dear friends is that uh, how we are going to conduct and how we are going to apply the mathematical formula for declaring the results of pre final year students with a lot of illustrations in that so all these things we have included in our uh, margadarshak tatve that is guidelines and uh, the modus operandi for conduction of this examinations jala apan karya pranali mhanto te but we are waiting for uh, government response you know that uh, what kind of controversy is going on uh, at present moment if we express ourselves and if we publish anything in the public domain then perhaps the government may not be happy with us and if we do not that you are not happy with us because i was promised to certain group of ceo ceos when i talked to them that on 8th of uh, june i i could able to uh, put it in the public domain for your perusal but uh, I, i was asked to wait for certain uh, time period um, people are waiting today tomorrow or by monday uh, if anything concrete comes out in favor of uh, all our uh, all stakeholders then that would not perhaps require but anyway any how whatever it may be whether we are going to conduct the examinations or not that is a different issue but dear friends the situation will also change uh, and uh, definitely we will come out with uh, the concrete solution uh, before i proceed i remember one uh, share galib share uh, he says that badal jayega ye daur bhi gale bas itminan rakh badal jayega ye daur bhi gale bas itminan rakh jahan khushi hi nahi thehri wahan gham ka kya tikana so we are waiting we are waiting we are ready with everything but we are waiting that uh, this particular situation uh, will definitely be changed and uh, we all would be happy uh, in the uh, for future and for coming days so we are ready with all documents we are ready with all guidelines but please wait and please cooperate because you can understand our uh, situation it is very grim situation outside as well as inside the sppu especially in the examination department we all are worried and uh, i know that uh, there are a lot of uh, issues there are lot of anxieties there are a lo lot of uh, uh, enquiries queries discrepancies at your end we have tried to address all of them so dear friends what we did is uh, the fourth case the fourth case which i am just um, uh, trying to explain to you before uh, we proceed to the next moment that the case fourth was uh, related to the pre final year programs where in same uh, examination online examination could not be completed because of lockdown lockdown so 50% weightage shall be given to the performance of, of the students in the past term examination held during november december and the remaining 50% weightage shall be given for the internal evaluation for each subject the mode of evaluation could be anything of course it was expected uh, from you that in such a situation if we do not have anything because of lockdown and for pre final year students if we are supposed to apply that particular formula then 50% weightage we can get it from the pvs semester examination based on the performance of the student in that and for remaining 50% there are certain modes that you may follow and anyhow 
with any way with any mode you can contribute to us by providing the internal marks so that was uh, the suggestion put forward it to the academic council which was subsequently approved and then we proceeded further one thing we mentioned in that uh, that uh, no student no student shall remain in the earlier class because of this particular uh, pandemic situation every student has got the opportunity to move further into the next class without any hesitation as i have uh, interacted with you with the situation that for final year examination there is no issue all backlog examinations should be conducted simultaneously with the main examination at the institution level so we could able to get the data for final year students when and when the examination would take place but for our pre final year students we did not have that kind of provisions because we are forcibly said that you should not call the students in the institution for any such a reason for any such a reason this particular condition is applicable to all which to all institutions it may be non autonomous institutions it may be autonomous institutions it may be research centers so whatever it may be under the umbrella of spdu so the provision made in this particular action plan was related to the carry forward scheme applied and applicable to all students who were or who are not supposed to appear the examinations and even though those students who could not appear as and when the schedule declares and could not appear the examinations uh, for the final year but they will be allowed to appear the examinations as and when the situation permits and university conducts the examinations in normal form and it was told that within 1 to 20 days we were, we are supposed to conduct the examinations but remember my dear friends again there are uh, certain confusions a great confusion is that what shall we do with the backlog students of pre final year examinations it is a very clear cut understanding and notion my dear friends i let you know and i want to pass on to you is that this excuse because of pandemic situation is given to all the students related to their even semester examination this situation arose during march to this related to our our even semester examinations it doesn't mean that we shall consider their back or their performance rather than this of the students so anyhow we are not allowing any student to get excuses to ppu or the examination department for their backlogs so there is going to be a separate examination for backlog as and when the time permits of course i, I know that this is a little bit difficult to digest to the students even to few certain uh, faculty members but here we all are engineering students we know the importance of engineering we know what apex bodies are saying what bar council of india is saying what council of architecture is saying what council of pharma pharmacy is saying what council of other uh, that is engineering they are saying they say that without examinations we will not allow our students to enter into this society with uh, inadequate knowledge so dear friends uh, we are here to assist and encourage our student that dear friends this is what the situation we understand this is uh, all together different situation and we understand your uh, uh, psychology your parent psychology the society psychology and all that we are not here to suppress you again we are here to encourage you this is a time of uh, fighting uh, disease which is not seen by anybody of course all corona fighters they are doing their business we are also the corona fighters you have to understand that you are supposed to be uh, assisting yourself and the society by appearing your own examination as and when the university conducts for pre final year examinations so don't request 
about your backlog and don't ask please don't ask for any exemption for that so this is the situation which we had the five points which we have covered under this particular uh, um, action plan submitted to the uh, various authorities of the university by the examination department we had the times uh, schedule in our mind as per the guidelines they said that from 1st of july to 31st of july you you you, uh, you are supposed to conduct the examination as and time uh, and the situation permits but uh, in uh, coming future i don't see that uh, this kind of things uh, is uh, permitting us to conduct the exam perhaps uh, in pune especially in nashik in malegaon um, the cases are uh, increasing exponentially and uh, we don't have any option to postpone it i don't know because i am not um, uh, uh, astrologer to say about it uh, as and when the authorities permits us definitely will conduct the examination now you are uh, feeling the in uh, continuous internal evaluation mark there are certain queries and those queries uh, might come to me uh, even after the completion of my uh, opening discussion i know that it is extended little bit but it was my duty to to, uh, to aware you to make aware you about uh, what we did in three months last three months at examination so uh, what we expect from you that uh, till 15th of june uh, you you are supposed to fill up the marks there are certain queries i know how to fill up the marks and what to do uh, certain queries are there uh, let me complete it for uh, final year examination first this is not the topic today but still it must be known to you that uh what shall we do for uh, other examinations related to oral term or practical and uh, dissertation and all that so we have already mentioned that for final year theory examinations which could be in a different form i know we are going to conduct the examination for dissertation project and all other major heads which are very vital and important before we award the degree to the student so there shall not be a confusion that we will have a separate examination for that which will be taken place after the theory examination as and when it comes or prior to the theory examination the detailed circular would be coming to you uh, very rightly uh, uh, in the opening remarks somebody said that uh, there are enormous number of uh, circulars because what happens that uh, uh, there are queries and uh, we don't want to put you in trouble and i understand your position i understand uh, your anxieties i understand the uh, very complicated situation before you and when you do not get the appropriate answers then you go to your head of department you go to your principal then principal phones to us uh, let me uh, very categorically admit here that uh, today myself and my and try to explain to them that these are the situation but it is my humble request to all of you that you all are learned persons you are from engineering fraternity we have a very a typical and different approach to every issue and every problem uh, that we face and we here apply our own analytical mind to uh, see the situation and uh, get the solution out of it so it is my humble request to you that try to apply your own mind try to understand the things i don't say that uh, do it something differently and uh, do it uh, without uh, the knowledge of the authorities and do it something which is outside the framework of rules and regulation it's not like that basically it's not like that but even though the the phone calls which we receive today they are quite funny phone calls uh, and uh, at the end of the day we don't have that patience to talk to you smoothly nicely with smiling faces so dear friends it is my humble request to you that no doubt your difficulties are genuine we are here to address it and that's why we are we are, we are today here but certain circulars have been issued to you especially during and uh, we had uh, clear cut documentation uh, guidelines for bachelor of engineering programs so the, under this heading we have um, uh, circulated certain document there we have mentioned everything in for first year engineering where in semester examination successfully completed before the lockdown then for mathematics to engineering physics engineering chemistry basic electrical engineering groups how we are going to do these things that that was mentioned to you the evaluation would be done at the institution level internal marks things have made available to you you are supposed to fill up the marks and so on so forth so 
these things are there then uh, certain uh, for certain audit course like environmental studies physical education exercise and field activities appropriate grade you 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 are asked to supposed to put to internal uh, marks link provided to you uh, and as i have mentioned to you that for examination of all backlog heads for the first term academic year 2019 20 will be conducted in the next 120 days it has been already mentioned to you for second year uh, examinations engineering examinations 2015 pattern where we had the online examinations for certain programs if the online examinations this particular activity could not be completed uh, before the lockdown uh, then uh, these subjects how we tackle it the, in, the internal evaluation of uh, candidates who were supposed to appear the online examinations uh, that uh, that uh, was actually expected to be made uh, by different methods which we or which you feel appropriate we had suggested different modes of evaluation perhaps your board of uh, study chairman and honorable dean must have been explained to you so dear friends uh, you have to take it uh, take this issue, issue uh, rationally and appropriately you were expected to submit the marks to the uh, university authorities uh, after doing that particular business because online examination and all such exercises we cannot complete and as you know that for second year also all the backlog uh, heads may be practical oral homework theory whatever it may be they were supposed to appear uh, in the coming 120 days their forms have been already filled in so there is no issue of uh, doing that particular business for third year uh, engineering examination in semester examinations you have uh, conducted you have did the, the assessment of the same before the lockdown because uh, almost i got the information that almost everybody has completed that particular in semester examination and uh, uh, you you were ready with the marks but you could not attend the institution so therefore we you could not fill up the marks so now right now you have uh, the opportunity before 15th of uh, june you are supposed to upload the marks and uh, no doubt you know that uh, this is a disastrous situation again let me complete first this then the for uh, backlog students again they 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 are supposed to appear in 120 days uh, the examination and fourth and final year uh, semester exam engineering examinations i uh, you know that uh, i have mentioned that particular formula earlier uh, in semester examination of all subjects of second term have been completed successfully so therefore uh, you have that data you are supposed to fill in that particular marks through internal marks link and uh, backlog examination is uh, definitely scheduled or will be scheduled and that is going to happen so students are supposed to uh, remain present for that particular backlog examinations so this way we could able to address uh, the issue again there are certain issues that uh, uh, certain links are open uh, for external examinations whether we should fill it or not uh, we have asked certain institutions that at institution level the principal the directors have been uh, authorized to um, uh, form a team of examiners Uh, within the institutions internal uh, they will not be called as one person is internal examiner another person is external examiner they can assess uh, the things which are available with the you uh, with available with you uh, it may be all uh, the inputs which you, you have in the form of term or journal sort of it may be and uh, you are supposed to fill up the marks so uh, dear friends we have tried to address a uh, lot many issues but still i know that there are uh, hundreds of issues of course uh, nobody was expected uh, this kind of situation would occur and uh, uh, we could able to um, uh, face this kind of situation uh, even at uh, the mic in the university uh, the people from it uh, they were asked to uh, stop uh, at their home and they were uh, Uh, totally uh, house uh, under the house arrest they were doing the business from uh, uh, home they were in the work from home but they did it but nowadays what we uh, get the queries that uh, repeatedly we are saying that uh, you are not supposed to conduct any kind of examinations as far as the pre final year engineering programs are concerned when this particular statement is categorically said then and when we say that it is an external examination it means everything dear friends it means everything it is theory examination it is oral practical examinations even if the link is open to you you put it there any don't, don't do anything right now you are supposed to only enter the continuous internal evaluation marks 
which could have been resulted because of in same examination its assessment or uh, any other form of uh, evaluation which you did at your institute level before 13th march 2020 so that was so simple and that is so simple but still we had this kind of query so dear friends uh, we have uh, tried to uh, make it very elaborative and we have tried uh, it uh, to pass on to the students community i don't know what is going to happen in the uh, as far as the conduction of examination is concerned there uh, there is a great debate people are uh, thinking people are doing uh, all you know that uh, all policy makers are sitting there the government of maharashtra is also keen honorable chancellor sir is very keen and uh, definitely they will come out with a very strong solution uh, which would be definitely uh, satisfying all the stakeholders and we are um, expecting that whatever may be the situation please uh, let us know very early because uh, our situation is very grim and um, what to do and what not to do but we have started doing our business uh, it is my humble request uh, with this particular platform that if the examination would takes place or happens as far as final year uh, and final semester for ugen pg program comes uh, considers then uh, we require different different set of uh, question papers uh, perhaps you may not be able to come and follow this uh, routine procedure which we had earlier uh, submission of question paper to the coordination section to the uh, examination department but one thing is very sure that uh, you may not be able to attend your duties because of lockdown you were quarantined in the home, your own home Uh, but we did not have that facility we did not have that opportunity let me admit and let me thank my all examination uh, colleagues uh, we started our business uh, from 30th of uh, april i was also stuck up at my home due to lockdown at kolhapur but uh, let me admit here that from 28th march the lockdown started on 24th march from 28th march i started communicating with my all colleagues and officers after 28 we conducted first zoom meeting and till 15th of may we conducted 26 zoom meetings we had different alternatives we had different plans we had thought of for different data and as you know that government of maharashtra during that particular days they were expecting lot of data from us and we submitted the data we submitted the alternative form of examinations we we had uh, various ideas in our mind if this is done this is not done then what shall be done and all that so my and my friend and my colleagues in the examination department we did very hard uh, from you let me uh, uh, let me congratulate and let me express my gratitude to all my colleagues from engineering fraternity they attended the examination office university from 30th of april and they did fantastically fabulous job of uh, assessment of uh, physical assessment of answer books which were uh, there for a revaluation purpose and uh, with your support with your uh, backing we could able to complete all revaluation results except first year engineering and uh, very soon before uh, this june ends we could able to complete even uh, uh, fe revaluation results so this was all possible because of your dedication and commitment and i assure to you i owe to you that we are also here to uh, support you and um, definitely will come out with this decision this situation is definitely a different and definitely grim so we have tried to get a very elaborative and very transparent system uh, as and I, when i get the permission uh definitely i will come before you again and i will uh, talk to you i will interact with you what kind of uh, methodology we have followed for conducting for calculating actual marks and the performance of the student uh, ultimately uh, and uh, getting uh, the mark sheet printed i will invite a few of you uh, to attend my office and uh, assist us uh, guide us to verify these uh, statement of marks their results and all that but uh, one thing is sure that uh, in such a situation every time it was my tenure at shivaji university kolhapur or at msbt or in mandralaya as an officer on special duty uh, i i have experienced that when i request and when i have a call then uh, the people from engineering fraternity very promptly they accept 
I must admit and I must um, uh, mention one name here, uh, Dr. Lalit Patil, who is from Sigurd, and uh, he took this particular and shoulder this responsibility of uh, declaring the result of uh, revaluation. He did fantastically well job, fantastically, and um, he coordinated everything, and therefore uh, we could able to declare the results of uh, all revaluations. So, with these words. Uh, I conclude here and uh, I express my gratitude to all of you for allowing me to uh, open out before you. But one thing is sure that uh, before um, uh, giving certain advices, before comments and all that, uh, we have to uh, very cautiously retrospect ourselves. What we did in last three months what we were supposed to, what we have prepared and what we did. Today, even also when we call the people, we receive very, very ugly responses and say that it is our national and prime duty. Um, from 30th April, Mr. Lalit Patil comes to the university regularly. Other, my colleagues from engineering fraternity, I don't know their name, but they are coming and they are assessing the answer books. Why not for us? Why not for us? So before commenting, before giving any suggestions, of course, your suggestions are all the time valuable. I appreciate it. But you remember, please, one thing that is Dore Tarakki me Tarakki ke andaz kuch aur hai. This is Dore Tarakki me Tarakki ke andaz kuch aur hai. Jahan me andhera hai aur rasto pe ujala hai. Aap kaay talle apun hetra vichar karat nahi. In sagay din apun rastey aur ta ujjar shodhai laglo hai. Par par sidi mere hai. Ye tumara mala sagay na lakshata saela paige, mahi paela paige. Ani maulin cha bahset hi apni sagi lekra hai. Lekura che chitta zani che mauli che hit. ऐसा कळवळ्याच्या जाती जेथे लाभावीन प्रीती जोपर्यंत आपल्या मनामध्ये या विद्यार्थ्यांच्या प्रती या व्यवस्थेप्रती प्रेम असत नाही आत्मभाव असत नाही तो तोपर्यंत तुम्ही आम्ही काही करू शकणार नाही निश्चितपणानं लक्षात घ्या आणि म्हणून तुम्हाला कळकळीची आणि नम्र विनंती आहे माझी की या सगळ्या सिच्युएशनमध्ये तुमच्यासमोर अडचणींचा डोंगर आहे मला माहीत आहे पण यू थिंक ऑफ अदर साईड आमच्यासमोर काय अडते हे हाही विचार आपण करावा हा प्रश्न सोडवायला बसतोय आणि असं नाही आहे की शेवटी काही लोक म्हणतात की पंधरा जूनच तारीखा लावली दहा जूनच का तारीख लावली अरे त्या सगळ्या गाईडलाईन डॉक्युमेंटमध्ये हे सांगितलेलं आहे की पंधरा जुलैपर्यंत कुठल्याही परिस्थितीमध्ये विद्यार्थ्यांच्या प्री फायनल इयर एक्झामिनेशन प्री फायनल इयर सेमिस्टर एक्झामिनेशनचे सगळे निकाल तुम्हाला लावायचे आहेत आणि जवळपास आपल्याकडे तीन लाख विद्यार्थी जवळपास हे सगळे इंजिनिअरिंगचे आहेत वेगवेगळ्या प्रोग्रॅम्सचे हे तुम्ही लक्षात घ्या आणि म्हणून तुम्हाला माझी या निमित्तानं नम्र निबंध नम्र विनंती आहे की आपण ह्या परिस्थितीचा सामना करूया तुमच्या अडचणी तुम्ही जरूर मांडात आपण त्याचा उत्तर देण्याचा प्रामाणिकपणाने प्रयत्न करूया सोडवण्याचा प्रयत्न करूया पण ज्या दिवशी माझी ही गाईडलाईन डॉक्युमेंट माझी पुस्तिका येईल त्या दिवशी तुम्हाला ते अत्यंत स्पष्टपणानं होईल की होय खरंच आपल्या परीक्षा विभागाच्या कारण महाराष्ट्रात कुणी असं केलेलं नाही ह्या कॉमेंट्स आहेत माझ्याकडे आता पण सावित्रीबाई फुले पुणे विद्यापीठाच्या परंपरेला आणि प्रतिष्ठेला साधेल असं काम आपण केलेलं आहे फक्त ह्या दोन तीन दिवसाची आपली वाट आहे आपल्याला ती परवानगी मिळाली की आपण ते निश्चितपणाने जाहीर करू पुनश्चे आय मस्ट कॉंग्रॅच्युलेट ऑल ऑफ यू अँड आय मस्ट थँक ऑनरेबल डॉक्टर वैशाली पाटील फॉर अलाउंग मी टू कम बिफोर यू अँड टू इंटरॅक्ट विथ यू थँक यू व्हेरी मच व्हेरी गुड इव्हनिंग टू ऑल दी पार्टिसिपंट आय एम प्रोफेसर माधुरी रेड्डी सीईओ ऑफ आय स्क्वेअर आय टी Firstly, uh, before we take up a few questions, I thank um, uh, Kakade sir for throwing uh, light on a lot of issues CEOs and other faculty members have been facing um, regarding the assessment and evaluation of uh, subjects. Uh, before we enter the Q&A, I request all the participants to uh, fill up the feedback link and uh, that will ensure us to uh, Send, you, uh, send the certificates at the earliest. Uh, sir, uh, thank you for uh, those detailed guidelines. Uh, we'll take up a few thank questions. You. We'll take up a few questions, though most of them are similar and uh, they have been answered by you uh, already in your address. Uh, one of the question which was recurring uh, was, how do we assess the oral practical and project heads? So there were a lot of questions about assessment guidelines for oral practical and uh, project heads. So if you could give some guidelines, sir. All right, uh, I have addressed it. But again, I can um, uh, have the same answer for that. For pre-final uh, uh, engineering programs, 
as far as external examination part is concerned or head is concerned there is no external examination before uh, you um, um, think of all these issues you must have before you the teaching and examination scheme if you open your examination scheme for every uh, class every semester every program then you will see that which head is for internal assessment and which is for external assessment of course we know that uh, for for example i am from civil engineering uh, for second year for second year uh, civil engineering there is a surveying you know that uh, for surveying uh, you have external examination that is based on practical examination and you have oral examination two components and third part perhaps third component may be the internal or the term work evaluation for that so certain heads uh, different heads are there and certain weightages uh, are there so here what i expect from you that you are only supposed to submit the marks under the heading internal examination that may be that uh, the journals and uh, the the drawing sheets he has prepared after completion of that survey for a head external examination you are not supposed to do anything you are not supposed to do anything as far as final year students are concerned that is eight semester students are concerned or fourth semester students are concerned for pg then we actually had at the earlier phase we were expecting the dissertation the projects the seminars and all that the marks from the students after the conduction of the examinations later on or prior to the theory examination but now the certain certain people are saying that if you are going to conduct the examination then allow us to conduct the oral practical examination which are treated under the head external examination for final year and perhaps the mode of conduction of examination may be different may be be online may be offline may be any anything submission of assignments or whatever it may be or when the student comes to the examination theory examination at your institute then uh, you may certain arrangements that allow them to sit in the class and uh, go for oral examinations complete it uh, by keeping the physical distancing and all that so that kind of mode you may follow and you can get their uh, performance judged during that particular period but right now we are expecting nothing from for final students is that clear to you yes sir uh, there is another question uh, asking uh, you to guide regarding the entry of um, marks for backlog students of uh, be the be students who have backlog subjects from the earlier semester so regarding the guidelines for entry of marks what, for them what should i call for this dear ma'am i have very categorically said that you are not supposed to do any business with the backlog you are it may be theory it may be practical it may be oral whatever it may be the opportunity would be given to the students during after this particular situation is over and in coming 120 days when we schedule the examination for backlog students when it is an examination for backlog it means everything it is theory practical oral etc right now you are not supposed to do anything it is very categorically said and why you can ask such questions again and again uh, sir if you could throw some light on the improvement examinations it it is meant one and same thing that the examination which would take place in coming 4 months that is in 120 days as per the guidelines of government of maharashtra the one we call it as improvement examination another may call it as the conventional examination there is nothing uh, difference in that uh, with this particular background dear friends let me clear one thing we are trying to map how many students are going to appear for this particular examination for final year examinations a uh, little bit uh, additional information to you even if we say that 50% if the examinations are supposed to take this kind of decision happens then only please remember this is then only other is no then if we able to get 60% 70% student appeared for the examination if it is in the month of july or august i don't know when it comes but if it happens then again we will conduct the examination so there will be two three sets of examinations to which you may call the 
one is normal examination second would be improvement examinations very short span of time shall, shall be given to them and uh, definitely uh, we will be doing it and we will be giving the time and possibility or uh, the provisions for the students to fill up the form for improvement and all that so how many times students fill up the form and how many times he appears after this uh, 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 july examinations if it is scheduled as per uh, the previous plan you may call it as improvement examination or routine examinations or whatever it may be we are ready to conduct the examination for example uh, the students from uh, jammu kashmir the students who are from abroad and if they request the university that we are ready to uh, appear the online examination definitely we will conduct the online examination we are very open and let me assure you through your uh, medium that we will not hesitate to conduct the number of examinations as and when required because it is a very um, uh, unhappy situation it is a very disturbing situation and we know that the psychology the tremendous pressure through which the entire society the entire fraternity related to the engineering are passing through so therefore don't worry if we require to conduct two examinations three examination definitely will conduct no issue uh sir finally um, in your address you had mentioned about the guidelines so if i may ask you when uh, the, can we expect these guidelines and uh, i mean to which as and when as and when the political decision uh, the stalemate which we are experiencing is over and uh, as and when we get the decision but uh, by monday i may partly publish of it except the third year if you, if you final year uh, examination uh, decision is not taken by any uh, any uh, responsible uh, at responsible level then i may publish part of it uh, with the permission of uh, the higher authorities of the university and uh, definitely you could able to get it no issue yes sir uh, so that uh, pretty much covers all the um, doubts raised by various uh, participants thank you for those detailed guidelines and solving most of the queries of the ceo and the faculty members once again on very. behalf once again on behalf of i square it i thank uh, you uh, sir for taking out time from your busy schedule and being with us today and helping us and guiding us for the uh, to assess and evaluate the students i thank oh, all thank the you. participants on behalf of i square it and hope you have a safe uh, day thank you